So you might be asking yourself, why have I decided to wrap the 300 series? Well, in actual fact, I've just come back from a trip with Ronnie, 10 plus days in the bush, and I thought this would be really good to take the 300 series on. And I thought, I don't know if I'd do that, just given the value of the vehicle, it's wider, it's still a new vehicle, it will be someone else's car one day, and destroying the paintwork probably wouldn't be a wise decision to make. Why I have chosen to wrap the vehicle is I don't intend on driving around, as you can see I'm sitting at a set of traffic lights at the moment, I don't tow with a caravan, I actually want to go off-road, I want to go to those remote places where you do need to go down those scratchy tracks to get that destination point that's just amazing and that not every man and his dog gets to in town. So in saying that, I've had other products applied to other vehicles. I've always wondered, is wrapping the vehicle worth it? Uh, when it comes down to putting things on the paintwork, polishes, other products out there, decided to go with today and it's going to get applied to the vehicle is at the pointy end of the field. Premium does cost money and I've decided to pull the pin and wrap it completely top to bottom and I don't have to worry about anything, I don't have to fit anything, I don't have to reapply anything. And what's led me to that decision as well is a customer's car that I've built for him and watched for many years. He's used it off-road and the film has actually just looked after his car. It's easy to clean and it still looks like the day he applied it. So this is why I've decided to choose to wrap the vehicle. Not driven on money or any other commercial decisions. I am paying for this wrap myself. It is a bit of a tough pill to swallow. It isn't cheap. I haven't used it, but I'll give you a review on it later. So off to get it wrapped we go. Just gonna reverse in, have a quick chat to Nick about the different films, what we're gonna to apply to the vehicle today, and feeling pretty excited to say the least. So let's see uh, what the boys here at Mad Inc. can do for us in the 300 series. Okay, so we're here at Mad Inc. Uh, we're just gonna run through the different films and what Nick recommends to us to put on the 300 to serve me best for what I'm gonna use it for on the vehicle. So Nick, what do you recommend we fit to the car today? Uh, I'm thinking Expel Stealth paint protection film. Uh, it's gonna change the color from gloss to stealth or to a matte finish uh, because you're gonna be taking this car off road quite a bit. I think it's gonna be the best option. It's gonna hide the dirt dirt the best uh, and look great. Also super easy to clean uh, the stealth when you after you've washed it. Uh, you're not going to have those smeary marks like you would with gloss film um, and also it's going to going to make the car look pretty pretty sweet when it's finished well i reckon that's going to make my decision really easy because washing the car isn't my thing um, <laughs> and going off-road sounds good to me um, i think the stealth is what we're going to go with today so that's made my decision real easy so nick there's the keys Thanks, i'll leave mate. it with you can i pick it up tomorrow uh, i don't think so so a job like this will take us five days uh, it is quite uh, a big job so obviously we're going to take off the mirrors, the door handles, window moulds, uh, the badges will come off, we've got to wash the car, we've got to prep it, then we've got to print the, print the templates off, uh, install it, put it all back together, uh, so it'll be good to go in five, about five days. Well it sounds like it's a pretty comprehensive job, I know it's in safe hands, I'll leave it with you and I'm looking forward to see what it turns out, uh, a totally different car at the other end, but yet, better yet is going down the tracks and knowing I'm not scratching the paintwork, uh, with the added bonus you said I won't need to wash it very often. <laughs>
mates. How are we, Nick? How are you? Excited, mate. Oh, yeah. see the car. All right, come on. Let's have Let's a squeeze. Woo. Looks different already, eh? I'm Looks excited. Good. I've been watching the socials as well, trying to get like a bit of a glimpse on it. But um, Yeah, we try not to put too much up because otherwise it spoils the surprise. So It's like a totally different car. I don't, yeah, yeah, don't even good. know how to describe the colour actually. It's mm. Still retains a lot of that metallic flake. Yeah, it has, isn't it? Yeah, so it's not just a flat finish. It's, yeah. To say I'm not excited to take this off road now <laughs> and not have to worry about scratching it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so headlights are done as well, uh, mirrors. Oh, that's right, and the rear windscreen. Yep, so, so. put stack, stack windscreen oh, yeah. film on the back to stop the stone chips. And you can also see the badges have come off and gone back yeah. on, oh, so yeah. there's no yep. cut out, cool. tinted this as well. I'd be interested to see what it sounds like off-road, um, as in the panel, you know, it oh. sounded like a chalkboard before <laughs> when I was going through that para bush. so yeah. now just go and use it yeah. and, you know, not worry about, you know, scratching up that new paint. Nah. No, nah, you'll be sweet it's now. Complete. It looks, looks factory, like it's the finish, you know, everything's just there. Yeah, that's why we extend a lot of the edges. So, you know, Run taking right the badge around. off, taking these trims off, the door handles, the mirrors, that way you're covering every edge yep. possible. Yeah. Looks beefier. Yeah, looks bigger also. Yeah. It's just dynamics of the car have changed. Mm. I can't wait to give it a bit more lift and, you know, the bull bar and everything on it and steps and... It's like I don't want to cut a hole in it to put a snorkel in it now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. it's like that brand new car feeling. Yeah, no, so. looks good, mate. You're going to have a great time thrashing this through the bush. Yeah, I was actually um, just saying when I've come in, having to wait before I can take it off road, I'm just itching. I was already yeah. planning to take uh, it through the uh, para bush. Yeah. And I suppose it's a bit like window tin as well, a bit in the sunshine, just to really give it that. Yeah, so I have found that the the longer it sits outside, the better yep. the film gets. So it's just yeah. settling. So yeah, okay. same principle as window tint. It can take two, three weeks to dry. Yep. Um, but yeah. So if it is a nice day, I'll try and get out in the sun. Yep. Say I do scratch one side and that's more in the sun than the other, it won't heal unless it's in the sun or is uh, it just a warmth? It's a warmth. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Right. So if it's like 30 degree day, okay. you, you can, like the panel doesn't have to be in direct Okay. sunlight yep. it's just the warmth yep. on the panel so and being a darker color it's going to attract a yeah, lot okay. more heat so even driving around say you scratch a bonnet there's yep. enough heat in the bonnet from the engine for it to heal back together i was watching some of your socials as well with the oh the that was this yeah, one. yeah actually it was this car yeah, yeah. with the um yeah. that's what sold me on the product how how diverse it can be and yeah looking after the vehicle yeah well you've changed the whole look of it but also retained yeah. the protection side of it. So I mean, to say I'm stoked with the look is, is pretty amazing. It's more the function is what I'm... Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. this was meant to be the gloss, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it looks, looks good, really good. All right, mate, there's, there's your keys. Thank, thank you, Nick. Thank you again. Um, as you can see, it, it looks, looks a lot different. I'm sure you're gonna get a lot of comments on, on how it looks. Um, and I can't wait, wait to hear your feedback on how it goes when you're taking it through the bush. I'm excited to take it off-road as well. Um, I know you're not going to want to hear this, but I'm excited to get it scratched and see how it looks and it heals in the sun. And um, I, no I did notice that you've actually wrapped the back of the key as well, so you think I'm going to scratch everything, do you? <laughs> uh, it's the small details, mate. So we wrapped it in yeah. a satin film to match the car. Just, just something a little bit extra that we do, yep. do here. So. So I'll see another week, come back, just a yeah, quick week, check over. Yep, so we like to bring it back just to check all the edges, make sure everything's sitting down nice before you eventually take it for a nice thrashing through the bush, mate. So, so I've, I've got to wait another a week. Seven days. Another yeah. seven days before I can... If you uh, can, that'd be good. Yeah, go and really test the product and um, yeah. All right, another week. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, thank you again, mate. Really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Cheers. Three hundred, what a weapon. You this car honestly on the sand, walk in the park.
out having a bit of fun in the 300. It's an impressive car in the sand. Um, sometimes it sounds like it's all revs, but um, it never seems to get stuck on the beach. But let's have a look. We're just going to pop down here, see what happens. Woo! Bit of sand. Oh, to say I'm not impressed with this car, whew, I don't know. It's um, it's like a little pocket rocket in the sand dunes. Just point and shoot. I haven't actually got bogged in this car yet, so I shouldn't say that too early, really, should I, on camera? But um, I have just said it. <laughs> oh, spent a little bit of digging. Um, we're back in the car. Let's just say this sand dune one 300 series, uh, not this one. Okay, so all those guys asking, why did you get the wrap? Why just spend the extra money? This stuff that I'm driving through right now, this stuff rips the clear coat, the paint, whatever you want to call it, off the side of your car and leaves those battle scars. I'm completely confident now I can take the tracks less traveled and come home and not have to worry about buffing my car until I've got no paint left on it. So to me, it's worth every penny I've paid for it. Um, if you're thinking about getting some, I would highly recommend it. I want to take down those tracks less traveled to get to those special spots and um, I don't have to worry about stuff like this outside my window just scratching the s out of my paintwork. I just want to say a big shout out to Mad Inc. for fitting me in and getting the car wrapped. Did an amazing job. Uh, if you want to know more about the application, they've got a video on the 300 series and how they've applied it and what they've done and all the different steps. So check that out as well if you want to know more information. So conclusion for this video, the wrap to me at this stage is well worth the extra money you spend on it. It's protecting the vehicle. Um, that's a wrap up for this video. If you want to see more, stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Catch you guys later.